Hello friends, today I will tell you how to connect D-Link router to your laptop or computer or how to get Wi-Fi connection from D-Link. I will tell you the whole setup here. You see, there is uh, no connection. So first I will connect D-Link to my laptop. Then I will go inside the D-Link uh, setting. Here I go. First I have on this uh, D-Link router. Uh, this is provided by Dubai Do Company. So the, this is uh, for the whole wireless system because this is a very modern uh, connection that's why there's no need any external wireless or something you can say tower there's any de uh, other devices that we fix uh, above the house or above the building i put this wire here in any of socket okay then the other side i will put in laptop you know very well where to put here it is and i put it here you see uh, that there was no internet now I will see it if there is yeah this is now connected hello friend I am here in front of computer so I will type IP address here 192 is the most famous dot one six eight dot one dot one there's an other option as well like one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one but I will go through rather this one 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 okay here's the dealing surface i have uh changed already the admin uh username admin and password admin i put in my name as well nasser nasser is already saved okay i will go inside these are uh, this is the home page okay so th these are the just uh uh, the basic information signal strength is okay this is the network providers do it's from dubai network still is connected started date is uh, day first ip erase this is default, uh, default gateway this is e i e e i this is the uh, sim e my number this inside of the router connection type is 4g this is the band as well and the primary DNS uh, and the gateway and the secondary DNS server IP this is a okay Th these are the readable information basically DWR is uh, a model type so when I go here you see the MAC address uh, the IP4 uh, information here 6 network it's not usable mostly so I kept it uh, disabled so this is the other system information there are two type of connection wi-fi 2g 2 gigahertz and wi-fi 5 gigahertz this is wi-fi name i already put uh, i changed uh, wi-fi ssid here this is a 5g molvi 5g and molvi 2g uh, this is encryption type is wpa it's up to you i kept here a uh, bit stronger than 5g because mostly i use this one and uh, uh, that one is shared so these are the there is 36 channel uh, here in 2g there are seven channel only okay then client uh, how many clients i have like uh, uh, these are the ip addresses of the clients these are the mac addresses of the particular devices whether these are the laptop mac addresses or uh, laptop mac addresses this is the basic information this is the very effective uh, this is Wi-Fi is the main point you have to reach here Wi-Fi you see in blue basic is here you see is highlighted then they are there are the uh, two functions maybe in everywhere in the world especially uh, 2g 3g or uh, 2g and 5g VLAN interface so I select this one 5g and this is a uh, country band is 5g here is uh, SSID you can change anytime you uh, this is changeable 
I mean any name you can keep it. Uh, any change you keep it here, you do it here, you have to don't forget to save, save and apply. Same nearby security. When you come in security, uh, the encryption is uh, really workable for you. There what type of uh, encryption you want. Disabled mean every, everybody freely access your Wi-Fi. And then there are three types of WEP, WPA2, WPA, WPA2. Uh, both are uh, mixed, highly harder security systems. Uh, okay. Uh, then uh, here is the uh, passphrase, is the type of password. Then uh, second one is the hex, uh, 64 character. Here, pre shared key like a password you can change anytime. Don't forget that if you do any change here, save and apply is required. Again, I go basic. In VLAN interface, previously we is it, it's uh, 5G. Now I will change or uh, something in 2G connection. These are uh, two, three different and separate uh, entities. Here's the information. Information here's the SSID for you, for your uh, own convenience. You can uh, make your, uh, uh, you can give any name SSID X Y Z, and don't forget to save and apply. Within this 2G, you have to go in security. Security is the place you can encrypt. Uh, you can uh, choose encrypt type as well as pre shared format, whether it's uh, passphrase or hexa. And third one is pre shared key or password change. Uh, it's, uh, the 5G was Molvi at 66, it's now Molvi at 55. Even I can delete it and do it uh, with any name so here's as well don't forget to save and apply this is the core point you have to go when you open 192.168.11 uh, especially go to setting and wi-fi okay the lan and vpn and usb are for uh, broader functions feature mostly is not uh, required to touch by any simple body or simple person go to management there's a time system log system setting static diagnosis tr and upgrade upgrade for the software you you see this orange one system setting is uh, necessary for anybody for the common persons like i enter here here the administrator you see administrator is the user uh, user name if previously it was admin username password was admin as well now i changed previously uh, you see the Nasser uh, I entered here through Nasser name even I can change from now as well for example I write world you see world then any password okay same any password retype or reconfirm any password then don't forget to save and apply you uh, you remember now from setting uh, there is a, a wi-fi wi-fi come to wi-fi it's 2g and 5g two type of three type of anywhere it's depend on the uh, country or uh, mobile provider or connection provider what type of uh, VLAN interface you receive from the a telecommunication provider from setting to Wi-Fi and within the basic to security security the place of password then leave the feature and go the management management system setting system second setting you can uh, you can change the enter uh, in the system this is the entry point setting otherwise uh, here's the last in logout these are the most uh, Precious and related for anyone to keep in mind. That's it from my side. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Please don't forget to subscribe if you need such type of a, uh, valuable and uh, relatable content to you. Have a great time.